cool. So here we are. Um, so we removed the mirror. So Mr. Bart Simpson does not need to look there anymore. So I'm gonna remove his uh, line of vision there. Um, just gonna control X that uh, red triangle. Cool. Now all he needs to do literally is to stand there and use what we call a clinometer. Okay, you know what that is, the blue thing in the classroom. And he needs to look at the very top of the building. Now, just because he knew that he put the mirror six meters away, the middle part, and he was 1.8. So, of course, now we know the whole long distance, don't we? So, let's do it. Uh, and I'm just going to say that whole distance is actually six plus 1.8. It doesn't really look straight to me, but I'm not going to get too fast about it. Um, I think I have OCD issues, it's bothering me. Okay. Okay, I gotta I just gotta move on and deal with it, I think. Silly thing. Anyway, here we go. So that's that distance is 7.8 meters. Cool. And Mr. Simpson is of course 1.7 meters that he hasn't changed in height from the heel to his eye level. And it looks at the very top. Let's say this angle, that particular angle. Oh, let's get our triangle done actually. Ooh. Okay. Insert uh, quickly shapes triangle. So the triangle is there to there only now, isn't it? Okay, uh, we want to do that fill. Uh, cool. Whoa, there we have it. So I don't know if, if you guys see this, but I see a triangle right and also a rectangle on the bottom combined. That shape is what we called a trapezium because that um, is one side here, second side third side, fourth, a trapezium is a quadrilateral, of course. So we'll skip the rectangle bit on the bottom, just focus on the right angle triangle. That angle which Mr. Simpson looks up at, is, let's say he um, you know, uses a clinometer and shoots high up and gets an angle of, uh, let's say 27 degrees. I'm gonna go control C, control V, but I'll put a number there. I'll make it a bit smaller, fit in. Uh, 27, of course. Um, oh, more symbols. Where's the degree symbol in maths? Math, is there something for maths? Yep, there's something for maths here. Um, come, come on, where are the, where are the, so this is what I need you guys, your help. Oh, okay, I'll go with that, close. So that's 27 degrees. So that's his um, angle. This angle is called an angle of elevation. Brilliant. So all we've got to do, use one of our trig ratios. Um, the acronyms we use is SOCATOR to figure out which side is what. So what I'm going to do is label my triangle very quickly. Um, that there is going to be the opposite side. Of course, you should know this. Why? No, why rather? Because that's opposite to the angle we're talking about. Uh, and that side there, which happens to be the slidey bit, the longest side in a triangle, right angle triangle, is H for hypotenuse. And now you also have this side, which is what we call the um, adjacent. Right, now, what do we know so far? We know that is 1.7, cool. That is 7.8, so which obviously means that is 7.8, right? So that's the same distance. So that's obviously 7.8. So I'm just, just for calculation purposes, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, I'm sorry, I don't know why that's not straight, but it's really bothering me. Really bothering me. It must be Bart Simpson's magic or something about it. So there we go. So the adjacent um, is 7.8 meters. Okay. Um, uh, what else do we know? We know the angle. Cool, what are we finding? What are we calculating? The opposite. So the hypotenuse plays no role in it. Of course, it's an important side, but we don't need to find it. We don't even know anything about it. So we're just going to, I'm just going to like say, you know, dump there so it doesn't annoy me. So there we go. O and A. Of course, we know by now opposite and adjacent are two sides used in the tangent ratio, okay, or TOR. Now, the tangent ratio is drawn or done in such a way um, if I can quickly, quickly do uh, a triangle like that for you. Um, 
and uh, just go uh, no fill. No, 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 cool. I don't I want a line like this. Um, it's going to cheat a bit. And hopefully, I can just put that triangle there. I can do that. No, I can't. It's annoying me. Oh, almost did it. Bit. Sorry, folks. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to do. Okay. Then I need a line down here. Um, boom. Okay. Yep. So you you kind of know what I'm trying to do. So I'm just going to copy one of these things. Over shape. Oh, I can. You know how that goes like. So it's. So that's your T. And your A. All right, I'm going to zoom in on this triangle. There we go. So T O A, that's kind of how we look at it. Okay. Um, okay, never mind. Okay. So we've got um, the tangent. Ratio. The T stands for, of course, tan theta, T A N bracket theta. So, what are we calculating here? We've got the opposite, we've got the adjacent. No, we don't have the opposite, sorry. We're trying to find it. So, that means I completely cover that. If I cover that, I'll see T and A um, across each other. So, that means I'll do a multiplier. So, that means I'll take the tangent of the angle and multiply with adjacent. So, once again, I'll put that in my calculator, be on my screen. So my calculator is calculation, but look, I'm using calculator, but you've got to do very explicit working. Um, if you've got a calculator like mine, just press shift menu, uh, make sure your angle is uh, in degrees mode. Okay, I'm sure you've got that sorted. So you're going to type in 10, which is a tangent function, open bracket. The angle was 27. Okay, we, we can't type degrees, okay? We don't have to worry about it. Please close the bracket. Okay, I'll show you why. And then you go multiply by the adjacent, which was 7.8. Uh, 7.8, where are you? 7.8 there. And boom. Okay, we get 3.97. So 3.97. Now, don't run this yet, because this is just calculation, not the final answer. 3.97 happens to be that distance from there to there. Not the whole thing, because Mr. Simpson is not lying on the ground looking to the top. He is actually standing 1.7 meters off the ground. So all I have to do is go back to my calculator, then go plus 1.7. Well, here we go. So I got an answer which is 5.67 when rounded off is 5.7 meters. I'm pretty sure that was the answer in the in the previous video. So. You will have to do something like this. You have to use your similar triangles and also your trig to do both calculations to verify if, um, you know, or show enough adequate working. So I hope that clarifies that for you. Now, I really wanted to show you one more thing. Like I saw someone in class not close a bracket and they're looking very really, really confused as to what happened in life. Um, so 27 and then they forgot to close the bracket. Cool. And they pressed enter. Wah, wah, wah. They got 0 0.59 meters. Okay. That's about 60 centimeters. 60 centimeters is about the length of two rulers. You've seen the ruler I have on my desk, the silver one. That's going to be a problem. So you know you made a mistake. Okay. So please, maybe when you're making your cheat sheets, it's not this. You have to close the bracket every time you do 10 cent course with an angle. All right. Perfect timing. My video. Um, Time it is about to finish. So I hope that all um, helps you. Thanks.